Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. Hey, Happy New Year to everyone. Bless God. We believe that God has great things in store for you and your household on this year. My God, we decree the blessing upon your family, upon your finances, upon your health, your relationships, my God, in the name of Jesus. We encourage you to believe that and receive it. Amen. Amen. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 23. And it reads, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amplified says, may your spirit and soul and body be preserved and sound and found complete. Message translation says, may God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. I love this part. Put you together spirit soul and body my god so beginning this new year we're going to be discussing and focusing on the truth that god wants us whole that god desires for each and every one of us to be whole all right spirit soul and body okay whole means sound and complete so god wants a sound and complete spirit soul and body all right Whole means lacking nothing. And here, not just spiritually, but also in the soul. But not just in the soul, but also in the body. My Lord. Listen, if I'm if I'm if I'm not whole in one of these areas, I'm not whole at all. My God. Spirit, soul, here, and body. If someone said, Well, I'm whole spiritually. Yeah, but your mind is all over the place, my God. And uh, you're not you're not whole in your mind, my God. Or someone said, I'm whole in my mind. But then they said, but my body is, is sick all the time, my God. So he wants us whole, whole, my God. The key word is whole, my God. Spirit, soul, and body. So we are encouraging you here. Believe for your wholeness. Nothing missing. Nothing needed, nothing wanted, nothing lacking, but that you are complete, you are sound in your spirit, you are sound in your soul, and you're sound in your body, my God. And that's God's will for each and every one of us. Amen? Amen. So we encourage you to believe for that. Believe for your wholeness, okay? And, 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 and the beauty of it, Jesus paid the price for our wholeness. And we'll get into it on this week, my Lord. But that's Jesus shed his blood for us to be made whole. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take me on that thing this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you, Father, for all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. We thank you for this, another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. We thank you, Father. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you did was for us. Everything you're doing was for us. You was made sin for us that we might be made the righteous of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, hear it. And our complete wholeness was upon you. And with and by your stripes, we were healed, therefore we are healed. It's your will, Lord Jesus, for us to be whole, completely whole and sound, spirit, soul, and body. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you. We discern your body right now. We take the bread and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we bless you, Father. We take the cup. The cup of the blessing. The blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy with lameness, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, whole in the name of Jesus. All of our sins, past, present, future sins, forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. 
For that we say thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup of the blessing. We drink all of it. Saying thank you, Jesus. What else is there to say? My God, but thank you, Jesus. Okay? So you are believing for your wholeness. Complete wholeness. Spirit, soul, and body. Completely whole and sound. Amen? So let's start off this 2024 with the favorite confession. Okay? So you say, in the name of Jesus, I receive covenant kindness and covenant favor. The favor of God is among the righteous. Therefore, the favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. I will never be without the favor of God. It rests upon me richly. The favor of God produces supernatural increase, promotion, restoration, honor, increased assets, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, and battles won, in which I don't have to fight. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. Father, we praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day, this new year, and all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. Father, I shout grace, grace right now to all that's watching, Father. I thank you. Every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough. Father, we thank you for all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. I thank you that you've healed them all, Father. We speak peace to every household right now. In Jesus' name, and we thank you for it, Father. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow around about this time. Continue talking about be made whole. Amen? Amen. Love you guys.